Hey there, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Pastor Wood here, and today is Resurrection Sunday. And I want to dive deep into the heart of our faith this Easter week. It's about the death and the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. You see, on Palm Sunday, you can picture this. Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey, fulfilling a prophecy and showing us what true humility looks like. The crowd goes wild, waving palms and branches, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, you see? But then as the week unfolds, the mood changes. Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane pours out his heart to the Father, submitting his will even in the face of great anguish and pain. And then Jesus was betrayed by Judas, denied by Peter, and then he faces false accusations and unjust trials. And then comes Good Friday. Why is it good when it's the darkest day in human history, but yet it's the most glorious? You see, Jesus, the sinless Son of God, willingly takes our place on the cross. That's why it's an amazingly Good Friday, bearing the punishment for our sins that we so deserve. It's a love story so radical and so sacrificial that it changes absolutely everything, or at least it should. And then here's the plot twist. Death couldn't even hold him down. You see, on the third day today, Resurrection Sunday, Jesus rose from the grave, victorious over sin and death. His resurrection is our victory cry, our hope and our melody of praise, as it's our assurance of eternal life in and through him. He alone, Jesus Christ, is the way, the truth, and the life. This is the good news of the gospel of Jesus. So brothers and sisters, don't let's just go through the motions this Easter and turn what is what was birthed and is birthed out of pure love and passion into just mere religious acts or family gatherings. Embrace the amazing grace and love of our Jesus, his sacrifice and his resurrection. So take a pause. Just dive in and let our lives become immersed and submitted to His heart and His will. Then we can live that, our lives with boldness and with courage, knowing that we serve a risen Savior. That's right, He is risen and He has conquered the grave. So there is no fear, O oh, death, where is your sting, right? Wow, what an amazing gospel. So as we celebrate today, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, I pray that our hearts are filled with gratitude, that we would enter His courts with praise and with thanksgiving for the amazing love that our Lord Jesus Christ poured out on the cross for us, for you and I. I pray that our lives would be poured out in response, in worship, in praise and thanksgiving, like a fragrant offering today, unashamed of the gospel claiming the good news to all who would listen. Let us not be timid in our praise and thanksgiving today. So blessed Resurrection Sunday, dear friends, brothers and sisters. I pray that the joy of the resurrection of Jesus Christ be yours today and forever. God bless you.